This will be a short demonstration on how to properly tin a soldering iron, or if you have a used soldering iron, how to properly maintain it. This is an example of a properly tinned soldering iron. As you can see, the tip is nice and shiny and clean. This will provide us with good heat transfer to whatever we're soldering and because it's clean it will not contaminate whatever we're soldering. Here's an example of a soldering iron that is dirty and that will contaminate whatever we're soldering and needs probably a little wee bit of maintenance and should be retinned. So this is what I'm going to show you how to do. I'll show you in this video how to tin a brand new soldering iron before you start soldering or if you have a used soldering iron how to do a little bit of maintenance to get it in proper working order. In this demonstration I will explain how to properly care and maintain your soldering iron tip. Tinning the tip is quite important and with proper tinning you will be able to complete a great soldering connection on a circuit board or on a terminal. Before you start soldering with your brand new soldering iron or even if you have an old soldering iron, the tip on the soldering iron needs to be properly tinned. These are some of the things that you will need before you can start tinning your soldering iron tip. I tend to use some plumber's soldering paste right here, 6040 tin lead solder, a damp sponge, now it should be damp, not soaking wet, a little bit of steel wool, and a soldering iron stand, and of course your soldering iron. Only one of these soldering irons has a properly tinned tip. That would be this one right here. You can see it's nice and shiny and goes part way up the tip. This tip over here is very worn out and misshapen and since it's a metal tip we cannot grind it so it needs to be thrown away. It looks like there's hope for these two and they need to be properly tinned and these are the two that I'm going to work on and show you how to tin them. What we'll do is we'll pretend this soldering iron is a brand new soldering iron and the tip needs to be tinned. So what I do is I take my 6040 lead tin solder and I just wrap it around the tip. It doesn't matter which way you wrap. If you want to wrap it clockwise or counterclockwise, the effect will still be the same. But make sure you do this before you plug it in. Here we are a couple of minutes later and you can see the solder is slowly liquefying and melting off the end of the iron tip. So we'll just let it continue on for another few seconds until it's all melted off. Now we're going to use the plumber's paste. So what I'm going to do now is just very carefully wipe this clean on the steel wool. Careful not to burn your fingers. Dip it into the plumber's paste. We're going to send smoke signals out and then melt some more solder onto the end of the tip. Like that. And again, be careful you don't burn your fingers. And keep going at it with the solder till we get the end of the tip nice and shiny. Slowly getting there. Just like that. Keep wiping it clean with the iron. 
Oh, there we go. Look at that. Starting to catch. Look how shiny it is on, on this side. But not so much on the other side. So we'll dip into the acid flux. This acid flux is only used for this purpose to get the iron tin tinned. This will make the tip last a little wee bit longer. There we go. So there we have a perfectly tinned tip. Let's zoom in on that. So here we have a properly tinned tip and you can see it's properly coated all the way up the tip here and uh, this will uh, help provide you or help make a good solder joint once we start soldering on a circuit board or on terminals or what have you. So see you have a soldering iron tip that looks something like this. This is really not properly tinned so we're going to clean this up and make this look a lot better. Again, you don't want to put this into a grinder or a wire wheel because it'll destroy the tip. Uh, and the only tips that you can reshape are uh, pure copper tips. So what we'll do is we're going to put this into the soldering iron stand and heat it up first. Okay, I'm waiting for this soldering iron to heat up to full operating temperature. So I've got my 6040 solder, my acid base flux, and my steel wool. So we'll just have to wait a few minutes for this soldering iron to heat up, and then we'll give it a whirl and get it properly tinned and rehabilitate it. While we're waiting for the iron to heat up, let's talk a little wee bit about the soldering paste. Now this is an acid soldering paste or flux. Plumbers routinely use this when they solder copper pipes. You can see that we have some uh, warnings on it that this is uh, lethal and it is corrosive. So uh, you have to be very careful when using this stuff. I like using it only for conditioning a soldering iron. You can see that this looks much like car grease for your car. This is, I find, to be the most effective when reconditioning a soldering iron. Again, make sure you're using 6040 solder and that it is a rosin core. Here I'm using a 0.8 millimeter or 0 0.032 of an inch in diameter. This rosin core solder is much like a straw with the flux or rosin in the uh, middle of it. So let's see if this iron's hot enough to uh, start to recondition it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can melt some solder on the end. Oh yeah, there we go. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to give us a little wipe with the steel wool here. Then I'm going to, again, stick it into the thing here. Let's keep cleaning it. And then we're going to hit it with the solder. And you're going to be sending up a lot of smoke signals here, so make sure you're not breathing in the uh, s s fumes. If you uh, do this in a well-ventilated area, the object of this is to get the whole tip nice and shiny. There you go. All right. There's to be one little wee teeny tiny spot that doesn't want to. There, there we go. We got it. So there we have the tip nicely tinned. If you want, you can wipe it off in the uh, 
the uh, wet or damp sponge. If you don't have one of these sponges, often a little paper towel will work. So here's what it looks like. Let's zoom in on it a little wee bit better. I'm going to put the iron down. So here you can see that the tip is nicely tinned part way up. Here I have it about maybe a half inch, five eighths of an inch tin. So this is perfect. So I'll now be able to do a quality solder joint with this particular iron if I choose to use it.